Hey there, how are you doing? Okay, I'm back with the uh, follow-up from my previous video about why I chose the iPhone 8 Plus over the iPhone 10. As you have seen my previous vlog regarding why I chose the iPhone 10, like I've said before, after much contemplation, I decided to go with the iPhone 8 Plus. My reasons are actually quite simple. A couple of things. Uh, I think number one, I realized that most of the time I just do simple stuff. I do messaging with WhatsApp. I rarely make I rarely make phone calls, but I do watch a lot of videos on my my phone, and I do take a lot of pictures and I do shoot a lot of videos, especially like doing blogs, unboxing or something. So and when I go out and if I see something interesting, you know, and an iPhone is pretty much a, a very handy tool to have around rather than lugging around a huge DSLR camera. It's something essentially that we have in our pocket all the time. I think picking up a, uh, a good phone with a good camera, okay, this is also one of, one of the factors. Although iPhone 10 does have the same features, you know, I would say even better, but um, I find that iPhone 8 Plus to be really adequate for me, okay, and uh, the other reason also <laughs> is pricing factor, yeah budget factor. Uh, these are the, the, the two main, main things, okay? It's been more than a week since uh, I've been playing around with the uh, iPhone, I mean using the iPhone 8 Plus. And I must say that the user experience is uh, totally the I would say to is totally the same as my previous iPhone uh, uh, 6S Plus. Uh, it's very smooth, you know, with the new processor, with the new A11 Bionic processor. It feels faster, but I will have to say overall operation of the phone compared to the 6 Plus is about the same, surprisingly, okay? But with the better spec on the iPhone 8 Plus, it def definitely feels uh, much smoother due to the uh, faster processor and graphics, obviously, right? However, having played around with the iPhone 10 previously, I do feel that the iPhone 10 feels much, much smoother in terms of the uh, operations. In terms of the uh, using the phone, the user experience it feels much nicer on the iPhone 10. I don't know why that is. They have this exactly the same processor and same almost the same graphic cards, yeah. And uh, the other reason why I choose the 8 Plus, uh, it feels familiar to my 6s Plus of the size. It feels very similar, familiar, although it's big. But I kind of get used to the size after a couple of years of using the uh, iPhone 8 Plus. When uh, I compare watching the uh, iPhone 8. Plus to my 6s plus things like watching videos YouTube browsing internet which are these are the three things three major things that I usually use for my iPhone yeah surprisingly this pretty much feel the same okay and uh, again despite the, uh, the the differences in the processor and the graphics yeah however between the 8 plus and the 10 I must admit the iPhone 10 screen seems to be much better looking obviously because of the Super AMOLED screen display uh, compared to the LCD but uh, having said that it is still a wonderful screen it's beautiful and um, so far the quality of the videos Netflix you know the high quality videos I'm watching here is brilliant it's wonderful don't get me wrong okay and then um, but one thing about the uh, 8 Plus and the 10 compared to the previous model of the iPhone, especially compared to, compared to my 6S Plus, yeah, because I have not been using, I've not used the 7 Plus to be fair. So my comparison is only from 6S to the 8 Plus. Okay, the audio quality is amazing on the 8 Plus. Okay, just like the 7, it has stereo speakers, it has speakers on the bottom and uh, you have sound coming out from the top here, okay? Okay, so when I'm watching a movie, you know, when I'm watching a movie like this, let me just go to the video, just open something like this. So the sound is really amazing. It's really amazing coming out from both sides of the phone compared to the 6S Plus which is only on one side, okay? So that's amazing. I love the sound quality of the 8 Plus. It's, it's really very loud, okay? And I love it, okay? And then, uh, oh, yeah, let's talk about the, uh, let's talk about the camera for, for a second, okay? Okay. As you all know, the 8 Plus, like the 7, 7 Plus, it has dual camera, 
okay and uh, this is the first time I'm having a dual camera phone previously a Sina 6s is only one single camera I am uh, very excited to for this camera because uh, I think I can do a lot of things with it uh, especially in photography I can shoot better photos I hope okay I'm not really a photographer but I'm gonna try my best uh, I love the uh, depth of field or the bokeh you know with the blurry effect when you take pictures okay and uh, I love the new features on portrait which is available for the uh, rear camera here when I take a video when I take a photos you can see from here when we choose when we choose portrait in here let me just adjust the focus okay I love it when you can actually choose all the things like uh, natural light effects contour light stage effect and the uh, stage like mono effects yeah so I, I love the effects when you shoot the videos uh, I mean you, you mean shoot the photos because the especially like studio lighting it allows you to focus on the subject face and then it blacks out the background which I find is very cool okay uh, not to mention shooting video um, on this I've not tried yet but I I'm very excited with it because um, I am going to start shooting video blog with this um, you know in conjunction or together with my Canon G7 which, is, which I am actually currently recording this blog and this has been my primary uh, recording tool my Canon G7X it's a very simple point and shoot camera I love it simple you know and uh, with this uh, with this new edition I am very excited to shoot blocks with this and uh, compare notes and compare the quality between the Canon 7X and the 8 plus so far that covers it and uh, so far I've been nothing but really happy with the uh, iPhone 8 Plus. Uh, oh, not to mention, I got the, uh, the the maximum storage capacity, which is 256 GB, and uh, that will allows me to store more videos and allows me to shoot more photos. There is really no right or wrong answer to choosing between the 8 Plus or 8 to the 10. Okay, because I know there's a lot of debate. Uh, a lot of people are saying 10 is better compared to 8 plus or 8 I would I would disagree I would say just get the iPhone that you want if it's a 10 that's fine you know uh, if it's an 8 plus or an 8 that's fine too it really depends on your usage yeah? because sometimes you don't need it you don't need the any emoji if features in the iPhone 10 it's my primary use of the iPhone is more for video watching photo taking video taking with this for my blog some people may like the uh, iPhone 10 because it's smaller, it feels cool, it's, it's a full screen. Um, what I do feel is that when I compare the, uh, the 10 and the 8 Plus here, the screen on the 8 Plus does, to me, looks bigger than the 10. Uh, I don't know why, but it does feel bigger when I watch video and that's very important to me when I watch video and uh, also one thing about the 8 plus right because it's not full screen the top and bottom there's this is a bezel when I watch video I can actually hold to the side and still enjoy the full screen of the video as compared to a uh, as compared to a 10 because it's full screen I have to hold the camera probably like this when I watch my video you know rather than I can rather than holding like this I don't know about you guys but uh that's how I feel and about the the two. So again, no right or wrong answer here for uh, Apple iPhone user there who are still contemplating on choosing one of them. I say go with your gut. If you find that you prefer the 10, just get it. Okay, so I hope this blog has been useful to someone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my uh, my. YouTube channel um, it has been growing slowly but steadily and I, I appreciate to those who have subscribed and has been following my blog from time to time okay and uh, I hope to do more and improve my blog 
okay uh, and i need your support for that and i thank you for all your support peace out oh and another plug don't forget star wars the last jedi is coming out in december for singapore it's coming out launching on the 14th of december i think in the us it's on the 15th of december and for the rest of the of y'all in the other the other countries check out your local theaters for the screening of the star wars last jedi peace y'all and i uh, hope to see you guys i hope to see you in my next vlog thank you very much and bye